They are at the start of their journey. They think outside the box and they often come up with bright ideas. Their projects are innovative. They are a new generation of business people and their distinguishing features are creativity and enthusiasm. This is the world of startups, the program about IT developers and the industry of startups. Hello, IT specialists and business people. This is the world of startups, and I'm Serik Akishev. The world of digital technologies is so diverse that one never knows what to expect of it tomorrow. But we do. On this edition of the program, find out about the gadgets of the future, new technologies and unique services. Coming up. Echelon KZ Qualifier has shortlisted five startups that will represent Kazakhstan at Asia Summit 2015 in Singapore. Smart Device ID Beacon enables virtual orientation in the real world. Watch a review of upcoming IT and business events that are well worth attending. Recently, there has been held Echelon KZ Qualifier, a final stage of the series of vacations among students aimed at testing business ideas in real conditions. The final has identified five winner teams that will represent Kazakhstan at the main startup event of the year in Asia, Echelon Asia Summit 2015. Our correspondents have details about the projects that deserve to be in the final of this competition. Watch the news. Echelon Qualifier KZ has gathered the best, most active and determined entrepreneurs to compete for the opportunity to represent the country at the main startup event of the year in Asia that will be held in Singapore. All the expenses, including the flights and accommodation, will be covered by the organizers of the Echelon competition in Almaty. Kazakhstani startups have good potential for expansion outside their country, particularly in Southeast Asia, for many good reasons. First of all, because of cultural and mental similarities. At the Kazakhstani stage of the competition, 38 startups applied and five of them reached the final. Here are the names of the lucky ones. Ecosocket, Aviator.me, Mikey, Replicon and PicVPic. We talked about some of them on the previous editions of the program, but one of them, the PicVPic aggregator, is presented here for the first time. PicVPic is a global search engine that united millions of goods on one database to allow users to find the ones they are looking for. Recently, PicVPic has entered more than 60 American shops that offer more than 3 million various goods. Another Kazakhstani startup finalist is MyKey. At first glance, it looks like an ordinary mobile app, but in fact, it may become an indispensable smartphone assistant. It may help you find things you would like to buy. The MyKey functions resemble that of the Siri voice search. If you want to find and buy something, just say it to your little pocket helper. For example, MyKey, find Adidas running shoes in Almaty. And in a few seconds, on your mobile display, you will see a number of options of the items with prices and addresses of the shops where you can get the shoes. Another Kazakhstani startup worth your attention is Replicon. It's two devices in one, a 3D scanner plus a 3D printer. In order to launch the production of these printers, the company needs $50,000 as investments. Venture capitalists that attended the event have already taken interest in the project. Uh, so I saw maybe one or two that looked interesting, so we might have some conversations to invest in maybe perhaps one or two of the companies here. The main asset test for the Kazakhstani startups is still ahead at the Ashland Summit 2015. Those who participated in this event say that every fifth project there receives investments. We wish good luck to the Kazakhstani startup teams in this competition. Probably everyone has had to waste their time rambling around supermarket shelves in search of a thing they want. Very often, it takes a lot more time to find the item than to buy it. The solution to this problem may be a device called iBeacon. Its innovators say that thanks to wireless sensors, it will be impossible to get lost wherever you are. Our correspondents checked if that's true. Watch trends. This is Arman Toxit, a businessman. His daily routine involves traveling around the city and one of the problems he faces is finding a vacant parking lot. He soon found the way out. A special device installed in his car helps him find the available parking space within 75 meters from the car. 
I arrive at the parking place and the device shows me vacant lots. It remembers where you park, where you get off, so you don't have to search for your car. The application shows where to park. iBeacon is a device that locates the user and sends him or her smart push notifications to their smartphone. Of course, one has to download the app on their mobile in order to use this service. The developers of the app say that spotting a vacant parking lot is just a small part of what the app is capable of. In stores, you could use it so that when you walk past the shop, it automatically sends you a push notification about discounts they currently have. Suppose you've come to a KFC cafe for the fifth time, so KFC knows you are there for the fifth time, and you may get a coupon and use it for a free meal. By the way, this technology has been in use in many shopping malls in the US and Europe. At the same time, technology called Li-Fi is used. It works with the help of a free mobile app. Li-Fi will show you the way to certain products or will offer discounts in the shops in your neighborhood. The cost of iBeacon made in Kazakhstan is from $30. The cost includes the device itself, the soft and the service support. The device consists of a small microchip, e-module and a battery. In the near future, iBeacon is planning to set up the production of their smart search engines to participate in Expo 2017 as suppliers of virtual guides. Год, 2015 is rich in business and IT events. They are unique platforms where you learn not only how to make a good business plan and sell your product effectively, but also protect soft. At the end of this edition is a brief review of upcoming events. From the 4th to the 5th of June in Almaty, the Retail Business Kazakhstan Conference will be held. It's a major event for commercial activities. It will be attended by financists, developers and the leading manufacturers. Not only will you have an opportunity to share with your expertise, you will also learn from the experience of international companies. The summit agenda is about the main issues and opportunities for internal trade in Kazakhstan today. The strong national currency creates opportunities for goods made in Russia. This makes the population's income decrease. A more Modern format of stores and shopping malls replace grey markets and the government is putting in their efforts to support national manufacturers and subsidize loan interest rates for more effective business. So high-tech retail and businesses with low expenses are very attractive today. On the 18th of September, Internet Avenue 2015 will be held in the southern capital in cooperation with the Big Internet Forum, or BIF-15. It's a unique event for the development of Kazakhstan's industry that offers exciting opportunities to the participants to share their experience and that informs them about the recent innovations, trends and the ways of improving productivity in the industries on the whole. For the first time in 2015, two important market sectors were added, telecommunication and consumer electronics. Among the participants are the largest companies in the market and the industry professionals. The big data is on everyone's lips, but few know what it actually is and what the big data is used for. Its properties allow the German national football team to win and manufacturers know what color packaging will attract their customers and companies optimize expenses of millions of dollars. Well, if you want to benefit from the opportunities that the big data can give you, then apply to participate in the Big Data Russia that will be held in Moscow on the 15th of September. You will learn where the big data is, how to analyze the data efficiently and accurately how mathematics can be turned to money and how to predict human behavior. These and many other topics will be discussed by representatives of the leading companies such as IBM, Google, SAP, Mail.ru and others. That's all for today. I'm Serik Akishev. You've been watching the world of startups. If you have missed something or would like to watch the edition again, go to our pages on Facebook and vk.com. See you next time on Kazakh TV.